guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to vlogmas i think today's day 17 i'm losing track uh but <laughs> whatever vlogmas it is welcome to the channel um today i'm going to be making some chicken alfredo uh a chicken alfredo broccoli bake keto version and then i'm just doing a carnivore version for me so i will show you that but also i've got a, a t-shirt some t-shirts to show you guys that i got they're super cute and my advent because the kids weren't here today. So let's do those and then I'll start the recipe. All right guys, I'm getting ready to wrap some gifts and I wanted to show you what I got for the whole family to go with their pajamas this year. I got everyone a shirt with their name on it, has the initial of their first name, this little picture on it, everyone's, there's mine. <laughs> um, that's their dad, that my son-in-law. Aren't these cute? There's Lorraine's. Pop Pop, <laughs> his mom, or my mom, sorry, uh, my daughter-in-law, so everyone has one. My son, there's his mom, um, my daughter, everybody has one. Aren't these cute? All right, so the kids aren't here today, so I'm doing, I'm actually doing yesterday's advent and today's, I think. Making... All right, this is yesterday's. I was tired. Let's do it. All right, we got a red from Spain. And then today's. If I can get it open, oh, my goodness. Today's is a white, white blend. All right, let's see what cheeses go with them. All right, so we need 16 and 17. Where are they at? There's 16. is a smoky cheddar all right 17 where are you 17 there's that's seven oh, up here it just kind of came off black pepper gouda get it up oh my goodness <laughs> all right all right guys for today's recipe i am making two separate ways because i'm making a carnivore just chicken alfredo for me and chicken alfredo bake with broccoli in it for um the rest of the, the peeps and it, it's, it's going to be a keto version so for this recipe i'm using a package of steamed broccoli and about to steam some chicken broth, some hearts of palm pasta, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream. I've got four chicken breasts cooking in the oven right now and also some mozzarella. So those are the things you're gonna need uh, for this recipe. So uh, right now I'm cooking the chicken breasts. So once those get done, I'm going to chop them up and you know portion them out for both of these. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna steam the broccoli and make an Alfredo sauce. You will also need some butter. Seasonings I'm gonna use are gonna be Italian. We're gonna add some garlic, of course, some basil, which even though this has some in it, we're gonna add a little extra, and some Redmond's Real Salt. Normally I would add a little nutmeg to my white sauce, um, but my mother-in-law is allergic, so we're leaving that off, but you can do that if, if you want to. Right now I have about uh, two cups of heavy whipping cream since I'm making two separate ones. But if you're just doing one pan, you can just do one cup. I have about three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna throw all my seasonings in here, kind of get this going, and we're gonna add two ounces of cream cheese and some Parmesan cheese to this to thicken it up. All right, so we're just gonna keep whisking this till all this comes together, melting that butter, warming up that cream, got all the 
seasonings in there. The seasonings are to taste, so do as you like, how, how much you want in there. Just getting this all going. It's looking pretty good, almost melted. All right, now we're gonna add some Parmesan and some cream cheese. Got that coming to a bubble. I just turned down, I'm gonna try that one more. Turned down my heat a little bit. Um, I've got Parm in there and that little bit of cream cheese, we're gonna whisk that in or cream that in together and let it get all married. Make sure this gets all mixed in good as it warms in. All right, I'm gonna just put a touch of broth in here and that's it and mix this back up. All right, so that is nice and thick. I've turned the heat off. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this into this other pan so that I can mix this up with the broccoli. All right, I've got these separated. Now I'm gonna throw my broccoli in here, my uh, noodles in here, and then chop up the chicken. All right, so that's all mixed together. Just waiting on the chicken for that one and for this one. All right, so this one has everything mixed together. I've got the chicken in there. I've got the um, noodles, the broccoli, the sauce, and now I'm going to top with mozzarella. And we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 until it's bubbly and yummy. And then I'm just waiting on one chicken breast for this one to do the same thing. Um, and I will do the top it with mozzarella and put it in the oven as well. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven. All right, so this chicken's done, so I'm getting it all mixed in. I'm gonna top it with mozzarella. You could also cut up like, uh, make some carnivore noodles or cut up some egg life wraps to use for the carnivore version if you wanted to. I'm just keeping it simple tonight because I've been wrapping presents and I'm tired. Um, so that's what's happening. So I'm gonna top this with mozzarella now. All right, going in the oven. All right guys, these are out of the oven. Easy peasy, one almost one pot dinner. Um, I cook, you know, you could cook the chicken in this before you um, mix all this up and make your sauce, but I just decided to stick it in the oven. Um, and that is it, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Do all the YouTube things before you leave. Thanks.